Hello everyone and welcome to a modern video with Eldrazi Tron. This is a deck of the past, right? We haven't seen this deck in a while, but it top hated back-to-back modern challenge by the same player, Leandro. And um, I figured it's time to try because, you know, first top eight might come out of like luck or variance, but the second one in the same uh, in the same week, that's uh, maybe, maybe it's uh, worth uh, checking in a little bit more. This is a Chalice of the Void deck with three main, one side. The one in the sideboard, it's useful because uh, you're playing card in the Great Creator and you go card minus and play Chalice in a Cascade deck, so that's very important. The rest of the deck is a uh, Urzatron, so you play Mine, Tower, Plant with Expedition Map. None of that new little inscript that basically like an Ancient Steering Star lands, that card doesn't seem good to me. You have a lot of removal spells in the deck, Dismember and Warping Will. This reminds me of the uh, Merfolks or the uh, Goblins deck that are playing the, the, the removal spell main deck. Very important because you can't only mind your own business, you have to just have removal spells in this form. There's so many creatures that are needed to kill. So uh, that is the uh, newest build of a Drazi Toronto. There's one Ugin and one Ulamog. So that's gonna be like the, 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 the late game whenever you got your Tron together. Those are important. You have the Saga, only a couple of them because, uh, but well, simply because you don't have that many artifacts to justify heading for Sagas. Uh, it's maybe the problem of the John the, the John Sagavan is that the constructs are too tiny and they just don't really impact the game very much. So only only a couple of them. Thank you to I am Pitts for the tenth month. Welcome to the stream and let's begin our journey with the Eldrazi Tron. Boom. Be prepared to get Bozejud. We have one swamp. I've seen lists that were playing two swamps because remember with Bozeju you cannot get basic waste because this is not a basic land type. This is a basic land, but it's not a land type. The only land type here is swamp. Wizard out gains. Thank you for gifting a sub to Gledru. Thank you, thank you. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh yeah, very long curve here, up to number 10. You have four Dresi Temple, of course. Those will help you cast Madari Shipper, Thunder, Seriality Smasher, and the one Ulapog. But mostly this is a Tron deck, so ideally we get to the Tron. Do I play any Pioneer? You can go to my YouTube channel and find not one, but two Pioneer videos in the last two videos. So, use the exclamation mark YouTube, and you will find Mono Red Pioneer and Rakdos Pioneer. They usually don't do amazingly compared to Modern, so I don't really do Pioneer very often, but when I do, if you like Pioneer, definitely check it out, because they arrive not as consistently as the modern one. Although it needs to be said that I have to play more Pioneer these days because of the uh, regional championship in Sofia at the end of, uh, not at the end, uh, in, in November. I have uh, built a lot of uh, Pioneer decks in paper, tried a, tried a little bit uh, this past weekend. Not that much because. All right, uh, yeah, this is a fine hand. I mean, uh, we have a, a turn three tunnels here. I think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna um, just hope to get lucky and start with Tron Land. If I draw a Drazi Temple, I cannot go turn two tunnels here. But if I draw a Tower by turn three, I can have seven mana. So that is the. Like, this is not a green Tron where you maybe. You maybe couldn't have kept this hand with Green Tron. Okay, you go on with a bigger. Very nice. Very nice. Actually not that not that nice. This maybe isn't a great matchup, but we will see. Why playing I'm uh, Dresi Tron over Green Tron? There are two different decks. This is more, uh, less, it's more, you can say it's more consistent. 
Okay. Let's see if they have a grazer or if they stop here. Ooh, they have an explorer. Very good. Very good. Okay, and they go to Saga, which is... Alright. I can play my Thanos here. For four. You have four cards, take the Titan, leave you with Azusa, Cavern, and Toleria West. This is a matchup where I can go Karn Chalice on zero. Karn Chalice on zero is important because it stops Toleria West for Pact. So they have to draw another natural. Uh, okay, they drew Simic Grow Chamber. Huh, do they have nine mana? I hope they don't. Oh, they certainly have nine mana. They go Azusa. Oh, that's such a lucky draw of the Simic Grow Chamber. Actually, I'm just hoping here they can't. They they don't have nine mana. I'm not just out. They drew it the last time because I would have gone Karn Karn Pact. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And we lose. That's okay. It's it's amulets at the end of the day. No much you can do about it. Okay, good game, good game, good game, good game. This deck doesn't have a a proper sideboard because you have to leave a lot of slots for the card package, unfortunately. This member is great because it kills the Dryad and the creature. Warping Will, mm, it doesn't counter Pact. Mm, doesn't seem great, Warping Will. Maybe Ratchet Bomb is better. Could be Purple Orb. I'll leave Top Orb in the side. Going Top Orb, uh, Karn Top Orb, I think it's very real. Also, Eugene seems pretty bad. I guess I'm gonna leave the Warping Whale in. Yeah, all this dust also seems pretty bad. Yeah, I can get Thunder and Titan instead. Let's go. Okay, well, let's go. We don't have to play first. Yes. Mulligan. All right, I'll be keeping this hand. Uh, keep, I think I'll bottom the Sunder and Titan. And uh, let go. Yeah, some people play Karn Silex, but uh, this, the, 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 this list comes from a player that did a back-to-back -to -back top eight. His name is Leandro, and uh, I think it's more important that we, as always in my videos, I net deck the players that win. It's what I try to keep up on my channel. It's just to play good decks. I know playing one of Karn Silex cannot hurt. Come on, double amount of vigor both games? Dio bono. Unfortunately, this thing does not exactly one mana artifact. It's not prismatic ending. So prismasher, it doesn't even remotely do anything in this matchup. Unfortunately, my out is like top deck a reality smasher. No, I had chalice of the void. I didn't cast chalice of the void this early. I was thinking, oh, look at that. Exile. Oh, not bad. Wait, do I win? I win. I win. I win. I win. I win. <laughs> wow. Wow. Because they, they can't pay the fuck. Because they killed the thing.
unbelievable. Literally no chance I could win this game if they weren't slower. Yeah, they just passed. <laughs> ah, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Abandon, for making me win this game. It was, it was very hard to win with the power of uh, of Andrazi only. <laughs> Alright. Turn two, turn two kill. Warping Will is a one card combo. Warping Will is a one card combo. Yeah, the, the thing is, I don't like to play Chalice this early. Like, I want to let my opponent build up a little bit and then play Chalice so that they sculpt their plan accordingly. It's like... Yeah. I was good to side it out. Remember Warping Will? <laughs> Thank God I kept it in. One in G3. All right, hand is very good. Land amulet. Wow, no amulet. Ay ay ay. Opponent. Land map. Hopefully, we draw a. Um... Oh, Bazaju. Seeing a Buzeju here doesn't mean that it's gone forever because my opponent deck plays a lot of bounce lands. Like, they just no, they rumble it. Oh, okay. So we got Tron next turn. Hopefully, it won't be too late. Man, what a what a good deck amulet is. Honestly, it's just so good. Like they have two amulets again. They can already like I don't know, kill me. Yep, the Yuru, it, no, nothing. They just got an amulet, they get a bounce land. They already played seven mana. What is that? Summoner's Pact. <laughs> Cultivator Colossus they go for, okay. Uh, ability on the stack. Do I want to kill it? I think so. It's okay. I'll, I'll at least we had a very shenic uh, game. Uh... At least we had a very shenic game to win, but uh, again, the matchup. <laughs> Love it. Opponent just F6. They didn't want to float the mana twice. They were like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. They probably can't be bothered to be playing against Eldrazi Tron. They're like, my deck is too good to play against yours. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay, opponent. That's fine. Eldrazi Tron in the zero one bracket. This is where we this is where we dominate usually. I need blood with my Tron sideboard. It's true. I've never thought about it. Actually, do you remember there was a time where there was a deck that was like Red Eldrazi or something? Thank you, Spice Lord MTG. Thank you for the seventh month. There was a time where Mono Red Eldrazi had Blood Moon in the sideboard of the Eldrazi deck. Thank you, thank you, Spice Lord. Yeah, exactly. In the zero one bracket, it's where the control players are. It's actually a very smart move on Magic Online to lose round one, so you get paired against all the blue eye control. And then you farm them all. 
You still play Red Eldrazi in Modern. See, this is the player I was talking about. Eldrazi main deck and then Blood Moon side. They never see it coming. What you want, people? Where can you look the deck list? In many places, Instagram and uh, Twitter, or a simple exclamation mark deck command will get you to the proper deck list. Okay, vamos. The hand is fine, but Simeon Spirit Guide make it in here. Not only Simeon Spirit Guide is banned, but it's also bad. Two words that are three letters and start with a B, B A. Alright, let's go mine, map, bye. We got double map, so we can get Tron by turn. I don't know, four or five. There it is! Name a more iconic duo. Zero One and Hollywood Fountain. All right, Urza Saga, your turn. It could be anything, of course. Like a sample of growth follow-up. That's a very common land in modern. Spreading things on my saga. Si va be ma che cazzo è stamattina. All right. I'll get Tron land. Go. Spreading seas. Seven cards in your hand. Draw. Mm, a drazi temple. I'm just gonna go map. The reason why I got the plant and not the tower is the next turn I can crack the map to get the tower and then I'm gonna get three mana. Not that I use that much, but maybe I draw a mother shipper. Ooh, a tower! What is the map when you got the tower? Smashy, smashy! Smashy, smashy! Smashy, smashy! Counter, target, spell. All right, map. But what you gonna get me? Hmm. Who knows? Just another tower. It's not natural. I had to map for one of these. Wool of omens. All right. Hmm. Farseek. That is a combination of cards that you very rarely see. Far seek one of women's friends is like a cube deck basically. Alright, I have eight cards in their hand. What do I what do I get? Alright, so Cavern? Maybe Cavern, yeah. Yeah, I'll get Cavern. Let's play Eugene. Click 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 click. The minus two or ping you? No, I think I'll bolt you because I want to go to the emblem. Bant cards I own. It's a very common deck. Also known as Bent Binder. In the past, I remember playing in standard Bent Binder. Also known as Great. I think Bent is the deck that fits the best for it to be a binder deck. Just because like bad cards, like you can, you can cast them and just they do something and at the end of the day, the deck is obviously reasonable. The cyber options are you can play them or just leaving them to the side. Yeah, you can play. A, you can make a battle of Grexis Binder versus Bent Binder. That will definitely fight very well. The the chalice stops uh, the ephemerate for sure. I'm not sure if it stops. Ooh, this is a turn two Thanos here. One of the things that used to be banned in modern was Ayobugin because turn two Thanos here was very common. Now it's very rare to do turn two Thanos here. You can only do it with two Temple. Back in the days, it was very common with uh, Eye, of, Eye of Eugene and also Seaman Spirit Guide. Right on time map on turn two. Thank you, thank you. And boom. TKS. How to exile Thrag Tusk. 
on the Miyach Matzo. Bye bye. Let's take the path. In next turn, we are. Um, oh, I don't know. I didn't want to take the path. Next turn, I can just tap for nine. You should take Thrive Tusk. What did you draw, opponent? What did you draw? Spreading seeds you drew. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Karn. I remember I cannot cast Karn. I also cannot cast, uh, where is it? Uh, Smasher. Because it costs five. And this one only, it's only an island. All right, I'm going to go map. And then Chalice on one. Very important the sequencing here because if you first go Chalice and then go map, your map gets countered. All right, they're gonna play their Thrag Tusk. And that's okay. Nice. Um. What do I want to do here? I think I'm gonna go. So I can go mine and then card. I think I like that. Mine card and then pick up. Fast and then if they attack, I'll block. Next turn, I can tap these two lands to get a missing troll land. And then I get seven mana and I can card minus and get a seven drop. Oh, never mind, I feel the ruin. I forgot about that. I'll get a basic waste because I'm gonna use the basic swamp if they possess you me. Not that my opponents seem to be playing cards that are recently printed, so I shouldn't really play around Bozeju, but What worse, Aldrazi Winter or Gak Summer? Considering that I played Aldrazi at Aldrazi PT, but didn't play Ogak at Ogak PT, I'm gonna say that I prefer the Aldrazi Winter. Draw. Mine not the best. Do sideboard. I think I'm gonna go for a boat. I like a little boat here. Bert. Yes. Boat. Boat. No. Counterspell? No. Word. Waste this doesn't count the word for domain. It doesn't. You can't get this with Bozasia. My boat got countered. And now my card is going to get attacked. I do have drawn here. Ur does Saga. Hmm. They're gonna go Tron first. Pop land. So first I play Mateo Reshaper. And then I play a reality smashy smashy. And then uh, my car and just plus since I know. Mm, do I attack? Nah, I think I want to protect my car and so that if they kill my Matari Shaper, Karn doesn't die. Is that Resto Angel? I knew it, chat. I knew it. My opponent's playing a standard deck from 12,012 that used to play Restoration, Thrag Tusk, and Farseek. Honestly, the moment I saw Thrag Tusk, I immediately thought my opponent is just one of those people, which I you know kind of love, that just want to relive the past emotions of when we were young, going to university and playing standard in paper. A very old feeling and playing PTQ as well. And I remember playing this, Resto Angel, Thrag Tusk, you also had Sphinx's Revelation. This used to be a deck. This used to be a deck, a good deck, not even like that good in back in the days, but a deck for sure. All right, my reality is smashy, smashy. Tuck for 13. Obviously didn't have counter spell, but I probably had mana leak or something. Uh, this time attack, 21 to 20. I guess I, I don't mind raising here. 
Wolf Run. Dude, we have Wolf Run in that deck. Hmm. Oh, I think that was another deck with Permeable Titan. Raw. Sorry, Matter Reshaper flips. Uh, put a permanent to uh, mana value throw less in the battlefield. Nope. Do I want to play Mog Fanatic? I can't. Why do I remove the second main phase stop? It's the second time that has happened to me. I should remove the second main phase stop. Wolf Run Bunt. I don't know why, but my mind does remember about that deck. I remember playing my opponent deck, but I don't remember having Wolf Run in it. Karn. Karn is very good. I got to show one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to play a four drop. What four drop do I have that stops the... I don't think I have much. Nope. Um, I'm just going to... It's going to make a token with Saga then. Yeah. I'll play Karn and go up. Tobin's Peto. Hmm. Okay. Thankfully, the Saga cannot be countered. They do have spreading seeds for Saga. They just uh, put them on the temple and then I drew Saga. Saga is kind of big here. I'm going to make two full fours. And then with Ballistas, there are going to be two five fives. I don't have Shadow Spear in this deck, so all I'm getting is probably a Relic. Sorry, Relic. I meant to say a map. Even there's a chalice, the map still works. I can go get a, a tower and have Tron again. I'll pay eight. I'll play Walking Barista. No, aspetta, undo, undo, undo. Okay. This resolves. I'm most likely going to win this game. If not, it's okay. Uh, fine. Pass. <laughs> Spreading seas. Sure. The fourth spreading season has arrived. They could have had Yorian if they had the 20 cards and blink the spreading seas, but that was not printed in 2012. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. My point with the Spring Verdict, also a legal card in those days. I don't think I have a card that deals two damage to the face. Oh wait, never mind. I have a walking ballista on the sideboard. But do I have? Oh, ho, ho, I can go all this dust. I should probably go all this dust, right? I spent on it. I can go walking ballista for two. Do I have a walking ballista on the sideboard? I do. All right, then I should probably win. I go card. No, a counter spell. Jeez! All right, so my opponent has zero cards in end. Mm, ben. All right, I'm gonna unload my lands. The problem is that what well, all this does just freeze my land, but it doesn't change it much. Smashy, smashy. Tower. Okay, so I have a billion mana. I don't think I should go all this dust though, because that one doesn't do anything. I already have a billion mana. No flashback card in the side in the graveyard. <sighs> Drop. Chalice of the Wood. Alright. Hey, what do I want to do? Chalice. Two? I think I'll do two. I have some two drop, but I have like a lot of counters. So I'm gonna go two here. Since it's ready, comment. Oh no! Right. 
Relic does nothing because it gets countered. There's a Chalice of the Void behind my camera, eh? Card Seek. Seeking very far. They aren't really printing two mana ramp spell anymore in standard. There used to be a time where they had like ramp and grow, far seek, you know, things like that. And then they stopped. What was the last time they've printed far seek into standard? Was it M M what? M12? <laughs> I have the Warhammer Far Seek. I got a motorcycle. <laughs> M13, M13. Yeah, that was the time. M13. <laughs> yes, Galador. You got a gifted sub. You have a pizza badge. Die opponent, come on! Don't go away from keyboard. Stay here with me. Don't leave me. While I'm in top deck mode. Ooh, something end of turn happening. No, no. No Sphinx is red. No Sphinx is red. Oh, they were taking a screenshot and talking to their friends. That's what they're doing, chat. That's why we. That's why we had that one minute lag. I know. I know about it because I often do it too. All right. I want you. I want to lose this game now. <laughs> Let me just draw a billion cards. Yeah, you go ahead. What's that? Wait, that's a lot of mana. What do you do with it? Thrive Tusk. Mhm. Mm and Sphinx Restoration Angel Blinking Thrive Tusk is a very good play because you get a. You play for a Seek, but you know. And draw. Oh, Growth Spiral. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna go this member first. Because I think all this dust is um, a little bit more precious. Because my opponent is gonna go Resto Angel now. Yeah, exactly. A, I just got this member on this guy. And uh, so that they don't get all the value, they just get two creatures. Chalice only cares about the top right counters. Uh, so if you cast with Evoke or anything like that, it doesn't matter. The mana cost is uh, the the number on the top right. That's the mana cost of a card. Eugene! I didn't expect Eugene, I have to say. I did not expect a Eugene. Alright, I got a four. Can I top that smashy smashy? Warping will that gets countered. Am I dead on board? I'm not. Not dead on board yet. I overtapped and pass. Because I can't cast both of my spells. Yeah, that's colorless. I'm a one. Congrats opponent. You wanna you want a game? Oh I didn't know Eugene! Good game! Ooh, that's not, a, that's not a great feeling. <laughs> this is one game to that deck. But, uh, it is what it is. Oh, Madonna mia. I'm gonna have Ratchet Bomb back in my deck because they have a lot of, yeah. Relic, I don't think Relic matters that much. Uh, all this dust? No, I don't know. I got all this dust. Thinks it's revving to Eugene? Yeah, that's cute. And zero the zero one bracket is a wonderful place, I'll tell you. Alright, keep this hand. What's the worst that can happen? Mm hmm? You're happy for the opponent. It's okay to be happy for the opponent, but uh, rooting, rooting for a streamer should be should be better. But that's okay. I mean this is an exception. We got an exception to the rule here. Yeah, I should have probably brought in Emrakul, you're right. Thought not seer. Thought not seer. Thought not seer. Walking Barista. I play Mog Fanatic. 
and pass. I'll play Karn, multi cup, multi cup, right? Is there something I desperately want? I guess liquid metal coating. But then they go counter spell on it. That's okay, I'll get a little bit coding. Yes. I can pass. They're gonna keep a counter spell, they're gonna counter my coding. Hopefully, I draw lane so I can go also the uh, monitor shaper. Right. Maybe they can talk about that. Uh, let's play coating. Put in place counter spell. My card do now. Nothing really since the one drop get counter by the chalice. I can go Torpor Orb. Is that good? No. No, I just stick up. Just play a reshaper and tick up. I say the counter spell, which is fine if they do. Mm hmm. Remember, the child isn't one stops at some things. They just go, they just go Thrive Tusk. No, they don't have Thrive Tusk. Why did you shout then? Your heart has force of will. All right, uh, what am I doing now? <laughs> oh, mamma mia, che partita. He's gonna go Smasher. I don't want them to like spread into my Eldrazi Temple and then I can't even cast that one anymore. Alright. So, attack with uh, these three. Plus and pass. I can go Sphinx's right for two. I can get bait waste from Baseju, that's true. Only one swamp is a little bit too little, I think. Because the deck that play Bazaar, you often just also play Ren. Fracturing Gust. Okay. Not that impactful. Also, it kills your spreading seas, but I guess you gain life. Alright, so you earn 12. But to be honest though, the spreading seeds weren't really doing very much. Draw. Nice, that's strong. Uh, let me attack first. Mm. I want to go Chalice on two here. My opponent is holding a lot of their counter magic. So let's do Chalice on two. 
And they have two counters. This is a must counter. Oh, Path of Exile instead. Okay. Rock Hooding is in the graveyard. I can't get it back. I have to exile it with a relic, but like way too many slots. Okay, that was a chalice on two. Does it resolve? It does. Okay. Well. I pass. Oh, I guess Dobin's Vigil works under chalice. I didn't think about that because this is, can't be countered. <laughs> is that Resto Angel? Okay, that's going to kill the, the car. And <laughs> it's fine. All right, we got a match with. One bracket now, still good enough to play against some blue white X decks. Still good enough to play against blue white X deck. Deck, Sansi. Uh, on play, yes. Mm. I mean, this one sucks, but what am I going to do? Mulligan? Nah, I can't be me. That can't be me. And Yotl. Let's see what they do. Planes. Still Shaper Gift. Opponent is playing a 2022 deck. You could say it's a 2023 deck, actually. Walking Barista. Hmm. Are my constructs? Yeah, that's my constructs. Also, this one gets me the the map. I'll play Walking Barista and pass. Yep, and pass. Ay, 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 Pierce Paladino. Pure Steel Paladino. Draw. Cavern of Sauce. Uh, pass. Uh-huh. Land hammer draw two. Yep. Land hammer draw two. But uh they need like double ornithopter to be able to equip. And even if they do that, I can warp it with all ornithopter so they can't equip. End of turn, I make a token, they can't attack here. My turn, draw. Draw. Right, so I can get the... Ooh, not bad. Uh, I can get the map. Crack it for the mine. Play mine. Mm, do I like to go Thonuts here? Can it go badly? I don't think so. I mean, obviously it can go badly, but I think I should play Thonuts here now. Alright, now it's it's important way to get here. Uh actually not that important. I get natural assist. And your turn. I have all this dust in my hand. So if you play Giver Bruins, I welcome it. Wow, they cracked the clearing. I guess looking for artifacts. They play labels as a saga. Remember, all this dust, of course, does not kill the Colossus Hammer. And they can't do anything. Very good. Draw. Draw. Smashy, smashy. Um, I'm just gonna go warping. Uh, sorry, all this dust. Kill your three permanents. Leave all mines alive. 
and then attack and keep the oldest dust mine up. Alright, this seems like a pretty good card against uh, my opponent's deck. Okay, second saga. See, guard is aid. I can't ex. No, I can't exalt that one. Never mind. Uh, oh, they're on 12. They make a token that's a 2 2. I can pump the ballista. Ma, I think I'm gonna make a token here. I think I win next turn. We'll see what I draw. Oh, this one blows up both of my opponents permanent. Let me check. Alright, so I can go Smasher. Uh, attack with all. Look, they make a token. I can pump the Ballista, kill the token. And that's 9 più 3, 12. I think I got lethal. I think I have a lethal here, so... Wait, never mind, I actually don't have lethal. Hmm. Because when I... Because when I sacrifice the walking ballista to kill the blocker, the construct is just a 1-1. One, one. So it will be 11 damage. Right, then it's fine, then I'm not gonna do anything. Because you have to likely chump block the Thoughtnuts here anyway. Mm. It doesn't seem like a good play. In fact, it seems like a bad play. Because that will leave you dead on the road. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, chump chump. That's fine. I'm gonna play Blazon and pass now. Blazon kills both of these, so you go. Ooh, they were dead anyway. I could have pumped a walking ballista and they were going to two and then die. Never mind, I didn't think about that. That doesn't matter, don't worry. With the sideboard, I'm gonna bring in the Ratchet Bombs. Uh, Pith and Needle. Mm. Chalice of the Void, I think, is good on one. You never Chalice on zero, so limiting the sideboard is bad for this matchup, I think. They pick a Relic. I wanna take out the expensive cards, probably. I'm just bringing Walking Ballista as a cheap play. Yeah, these, these cards don't seem good, even if I cast them. I guess Eugene can be fine to R cast, but this one don't seem that good, even if I R cast him. Alright, let's go with this. Leandro list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leandro top the last weekend and uh, this weekend. Um, Ethopeta this weekend the, the 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 showcase so that's it like two hundred fifty people bridge no you it's important you play a car in deck so don't side in cars that you are likely tutor tutoring up for and same thing with needle needle is a card that I'm going to tutor up likely with Karn. all right keep uh think I bought them it. Temple. Lions as per Sentinel. Okay. Happy I brought in the fourth walking ballista. I'm gonna go with Drazi Temple here. If I draw a thought that's here, it's good that I did it. If I had two plant two 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 Tron lands, I think you should go for Tron lands. But if you have two if you don't have two Tron lands, I think it's better to go temple. It's not better to say the only one where I should bomb, but maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe that's true. Okay. I could have gone Saga. 
I could have gone Saga here, but I think I don't want to stone rain myself this early. Also, if I even if I get map, I don't have Tron. I don't know. Maybe I should have got Saga. I just thought that uh, it's better. Maybe not to. Hmm. Maybe maybe I should have played Saga. I don't know. Earth is mine. Yeah, I should have played Saga, but not just fuck up merda. Uh, okay, I'll go Saga now. It's too late, I know, I know. I should play the last turn. Imagine if I had played the last turn, I could have made a token now. Next turn, I could float mana. At this turn, I could have played mine. Now, I guess I wouldn't have drawn on turn four anyway. Yeah, because of this temple. Hmm. I mean, you should always go for plant. I don't know. Again, this is where the experience obviously enters, and uh, you have uh, lived to those land sequencing and know exactly how to land sequence. That's also why you see often players with the same name doing well with fringe decks. Because they know exactly how to play in those like uh, openable spots. Which might be, you know, openable for you, but in theory, there's actually a right way to play it. Anyway, here if they go Colossus Armor, I basically lose. I'm basically just hoping they don't have like a proper a proper hand, which they do. I'll, I'll, I'll concede. Let's go game three. I'm gonna be on the play. No, I think I actually don't want to sideboard out Ratchet Bomb. I don't want to. I think I like this configuration. Mm, let's go keep it. Let's go first. Yes. Again, I go turn one temple. Because if you turn on the temple, I can go to Anseer. Most likely, playing Chalice is the best. But having the option to draw a temple and play Thanos here, it's also good. If opponent, like, I don't know, plays like the whole hand on turn one and it's like one card left, then I want to go to Anseer. Ah, Springly Drum. Ooh, but they don't have a follow up. Okay, let's go Chalice on one. Hopefully my opponent uh, has like a bunch of hammer. Was that spell pierce? Manatite? No, vabbè, dai, ma incredibile. Ma come Manatite? Vabbè, I pass. A Manatite, ma dimmi te. So much mystic. Let's see if they cast their hammer or they hold it in end. They go Kadra complete? Very nice. Very nice, they go Kadra complete. Play Thonuts here and take it. Three mana, Thonuts here. What a bomb. What a bomb this card. This card got printed, it really just... Boom. Alright, let's stay complete. They only have hammer in end. We're now classic, right? Just hoping they don't draw a Paladin or a Sigarda's Aid. Similar spot to the Amulet, where if I untap next turn, I think I'm gonna find shape, but nah, but they always, they always get it the same turn. They, the, the combo players in Modern, they don't really give you a win, though. That's okay. Now they play Hammer in there. I'm most likely going to lose now. We'll see, we'll see. I can go Karn, I keep the armor, then you cannot keep... This one says until the next turn, right? Yeah. We'll see, so this is 11 damage. I don't want to chum block. Uh, then I'm gonna play card, I'm gonna draw a card. Um, yeah, I have to play Karn here. 
they draw a card, but then I can animate the Colossus Armor, and that way they cannot equip it, because it's a creature. Again, obviously, my opponent can just draw more things and kill me, but... Okay, so this now is a 1-1, and it cannot be equipped for multiple reasons. It's because it's a creature, and because it, it has this card in play. Actually, here, if they don't have a as aid, even if they draw another hammer, they can't equip it because of card. Hopefully, they just crap the clearing. Another Paladin is okay. They have one card in end. What is it? Another hammer. I'm not sure. Okay, you draw two cards, but you don't have mana anymore. You still have six. You draw two cards, but you don't have mana anymore. And you pass? Is that what's happening? Imagine if the chalice entered the battlefield. Draw. Mm, a third tower. Alright, so I have five mana. What can I do with card? I can go Pithic Needle. Both Pithic Needle and Hammer makes little sense. Alright, let's lead on with a Thonus here. Clearly, I want to make my opponent draw a card. So I'm not going to get a two drop. My one drops are basically only Pithy Needle. I don't want to go Lipometa Coding because that draws them a card. So I'm not going to play a two drop. I think I'm in a fine shape, I just have to figure out what to do. I can go Pithing Needle. Naming Horizon Canopy or Southern Clearing. I can put a coating in my hand and do nothing. That's reasonable. What is a card that my opponent draws and breaks me with? The 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 country bit is exiled. Yeah, you know what? I like the Lipometa coding in end pass. I just start breaking up land next turn. So you gotta say you two armor, you can only draw one card. You can't draw two cards. Oh, you mean with this? Right. Right, you can draw back to back. Okay, sure. Yeah, that happens is bad. All right, so they start by cracking the canopy. They can draw back to back cigar as a armor, but hopefully that doesn't happen. You want to lock them out with bridge. Bridge doesn't lock anything out. I have a billion cards in hand. Bridge is only good when I have zero cards and not even because they've already topped her. So if they draw Cigar as 8 Amber, they can still attack with Ornithopter and then put the plus one, plus 10, plus 10 on it. Is there a bridge? It's not for now. And if you have Tron lands that you can unload your hand is good, but if you don't have Tron lands, Ensnaring Bridge is rather clunky because sometimes you draw like a card that you can't cast or things like that. I mean, card of... Okay, they get or is a Saga, sure. Yeah, I can, I can kill that one with the coding draw. Bomb, hmm, not bad. Oh, look, let's play coating and paid attacks. Now I activate the saga, and I plus one with card. And the, the creature dies. This is a way to kill your opponent's land. 
One decides to kill another land. Okay. And then I go Ratchet Bomb. And I pass again. Of course, we would never attack. This is not a game that I'm winning by attacking. I'm not praising them out from casting spells. You can't use Brain with Drum because of Karn. You can't Akip because of Karn. So on and so forth. And now we even have Ratchet Bomb to kill the Thopter if they want to go Sigarda's Aid, blah, blah, blah. Still dead to Sigarda's Aid Armor, though, because they just attack with everybody. And uh, the one day they don't block, they do the thing. But hopefully it doesn't happen now and we're good to win next turn. No, Teporego, die, don't do it. No, opponent, don't do it. This is your last window to go Sigarda's Aid Armor in combat. No. No, 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 no. It's a pass, 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 pass. Well, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. No, I lose. Was there a way for me not to lose to this board state? I think there was not. What a shame. Was there a way for me not to lose to Hummer? Maybe to put it on the doctor. Do I put it on the doctor? Could have tutored up a different card. The thing is that they just make a saga construct. Even if I go bridge, I have way too many cards in hand. They can still attack with the same creatures. So bridge does nothing. Hitting needle also does nothing. Cause yeah. I had a walking ballista in my side, maybe, but I brought it in. Yeah, I don't think there was a window for me to not lose this game this turn to do this exact combination. That's okay, good game. Alright, I'll take a bathroom break, be back for round number four with Odrazi Tron. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. If coaching is a bridge there, they can't attack with the paladins. Uh, let me see. I can't go back to that match. If coaching was a bridge there, they can't attack with the paladins. Hmm. But my problem with that line was that it would have made a 
they would have made constructs with car with uh, Saga, maybe that didn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone for bridge. Possible with or that. My hand was just one card at the end, right? No, 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 because of coating. So you think last turn I should have taken bridge. Hmm. But what if this turn I draw a card I cannot cast? This turn I drew um, a Ratchet Bomb, which I can cast. Imagine if I draw a, a Eugene or a Smasher, which I can't cast. Then the bridge does nothing. And they can continue with their plan. Do I prefer Titan Shift, Red Green, or Teamier? No preferences. I prefer playing blue ma blue cards. So if I was me, I would play Teamier. Round number four. I'm on the play. My hand is uh, medium. It's a very medium Eldrazitron type of hand. Red Swift Spear, ooh. Play Mata Reshaper. I decided to not go Saga once again. I believe that this deck isn't like an affinity deck that has to play Saga as soon as possible. Um, I don't wanna, I have other good cards to cast. I don't wanna blow up my land soon. I like to play the Mata Reshaper here. When it goes what? Minor repose. I almost have to go into chum block regardless of how big is the swift spear. Minor shipper dying is not bad in this deck since it draws you a card and you can even ramp you. Also, you can do the classic reshaper into reshaper. Wow, opponent bolt me? Huh. A reshaper into reshaper. It's a very good play. Mm hmm. Should have killed my reshaper. This way I they lost one damage. Scavenger ground in play. Draw. They have four cards in end. Uh, I can go for So here I can crack the map and get a Aldrazi Temple. And cast Aldrazi Temple and play Thanats here. But I don't think it's a good play. So I just go. I just go Thonuts here and pass. Hopefully, they don't have enough spell to grow the Swiss Spear to be bigger than Thonuts here next turn. It's one plus one and gain extra Fantape. particularly good. I wonder why they play it. Draw, Saga goes up. E, do I want to make a construct or do I want to do something else? I don't really have uh, much to do here. Yeah, the saga will die and will give me probably nothing. I can go Karn and get a Chaos of the Void. Maybe the best play here is uh, just Karn and tick up on the expedition map. Yeah, I think that's the best play.
Because they don't really care about my map. And next turn, Karn can get me Chalice of the Void. I can't go Karn and Chalice this turn. Remember, Eldrazi Temple only works as a soul land for Eldrazi. Yeah, another line could have been find Eldrazi Temple, cast Smasher. I'm playing against Burn, and I think finding Chalice of the Void is uh, is important. And it's not gonna lose a land with Saga. I can't get it back with Map, of course, and another Map. I don't play any uh, any of the Shadow Spear. Or up. Bolt wear face. Okay. Storm wing entity. It's a card. Uh, that's a card of the past. It's a card of the past. All is dust. Uh, Eldrazi Temple also helps you cast all is dust. Eh? It says Eldrazi spells. Alright, draw. I'll flow to mana. I'll go get map. I'll go get map so that I can have Tron eventually. So here I just go all is dust. I tap for how much? How much do I want to tap for? Probably just yeah, it's fine to tap with all. And if they draw a Swiss, yeah, I guess if they draw a Swiss Bureau, I want to leave a talent here back. Yeah, like I'm not winning the game on on a race, so. Right, Dragon, that's a flyer. Okay, they can give it plus two plus two, so that I can go down to seven. Or they might want to just, yeah, leave off that. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Okay, I go get Relic, just because. Um, now... And I got mine. Then I want to get the uh, walking barista. Play for two. Then I can ping the spray dragon. They have one card in end. They play shore up a uh, walking barista ping again. And then I pass. Or attack. Hmm. Well, I pass. Again. I don't think I'm in a rush and winning that way. So I'll just skip this back for a haste creature. Draw. I finally get Tron. Hey, what do I want to do with my Karn? Carter really enjoy playing and again casting, and that's Sunder and Titan. I know that probably isn't like the best choice here, but it's it's very funny. It's a very fun card to cast. I enjoy casting that card. It, it wasn't the right choice probably, but still a fun choice. Which one was that? All right, so I'm playing against basically a burn deck. So I'm gonna cut the expensive cards. I think I'm gonna bring Chalice and Ballista again. Uh, this member, I think it's still better than most other cards. 
uh, relic yeah do something like this sounds like that was the first rarity opened in a booster pack wow for me it was izamaru izamaru hound of Kong. that was my first rare opened in a pack Okay, that is fine. I got to five, and as this turn one, Swiss spear. We have a turn two, Smashy is Smashy. Can go out Pine Moon here. Maybe I should have started Ur Urza's Mind just in case they go Pine Moon on the Temple. I don't even have a land. All right, I can lose this game. It's not definitely not over. Do I want to go Saga? I can go Saga Matter Reshaper. Yeah, I think it's better. I say they both my matter shaver. I want to have a blocker. I don't want to cast card. Uh, which I can't next turn, by the way. I mean, I can cast card next turn only if I reveal land of matter shaper. But even if that happens, I don't think it's particularly good. They can go like both of my reshaper attack for four. Oh, they don't have it. But I flip, I flip them up. All right, not the worst. So give me a two-two this way with Saga. Ooh, this member. Okay. Pike. I go to nine. This member is not good. I'm not gonna play it. I just uh, chum block with the Saga here. No, I misclicked. Ah, I misclicked. Ah, oh, merda. All right. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt me too much. It will, though. It will hurt me too much, unfortunately. I think I have to attack now after this misclick. I actually have to race you. If I had just chomped, I would have had a 3 3 to be like in a super fine shape, or at least have night life. So I would have died to three bolts, but, you know, still. At seven, I can die to more things, let's say. Okay, they don't do anything. Perfect. Draw. Uh. Huh. Rodrigo, hola Rodrigo, hola Rodrigo, thank you for the nine month sub, you became a Gaviot badge, Karn, Spell Pierce, huh. You got spell pierce? Alright. Cool. Hey, those are four fours. Do I want to tap with one? I think so. Still will end for my opponent. Next turn I have access to ten mana so I can go car and uh, Lucumera coding. Alright, I concede. Okay, let's see if we can get it. The the three two, which is a proper record, a proper record for Eldrazitron. Honestly, 
Every time I play with a Drazitron, I feel like you're better off in cutting the Smasher and just play Prison Tron instead. Or not even Prison Tron, but just like basically not playing the Reality Smasher. Because the, the, the plan of going Karn with Tron lands, it's powerful. Mmm. This is a mulligan. This is a keep. What do I watch him? Do I watch him the blast zone here? I think so. Hopefully the opponent uh, isn't playing uh, Hammer Time. Linux are right, playing Valakut. Expedition map right on time. Thank you, Expedition map. Mm. Choice of the void. I think I'll go choice on one. I can still go next turn, map for tower, and then cast a measure. Chosen one stops them from, uh, I don't know, lining bolts and maybe something else. Is there a way to play MTG on MacBook? I do not know, I'm sorry. Maybe Google will tell you, or Twitch chat, which is basically Google. That looks like team or scape shift though. It doesn't look like rule scape shift. It's kind of funny how uh, after that uh, Italian player came second in the challenge with uh, in the PTQ, sorry, with scape shift, the deck rose in popularity so much. It used to just not exist, and yeah, that's cool. It's happy to see that uh, you know there's still some innovation in modern. Even though it's mostly just people that are attacking from each other, sometimes some pioneer player makes a new deck and then it just uh, gets very popular. The, the Tamer Scape Shift deck top 8 very often, consistently. Alright, so here, this was my plan of going last turn Chalice to this turn Smasher. Next turn I I'll miss one land to cast both Smasher and probably I'll win that way. So here, I'm hoping my opponent doesn't interrupt with me and I draw land. Any land is fine. Because we don't play top lands in this deck. Unlike Valakut the Molten Pinnacle or Casual Triumph, which are top lands. It's not amazing to play top lands in modern. Oh, did you exile a land? Sure. If you take two damage there, I don't even need a... I don't even need a... a land. Oh, you take two damage? Is that a remand land? Ah. What a bummer. Such a brick. I can't even cast a chalice in play. If I didn't have Chalice, I could have gone map into um, Cabin of Souls to play around the Remand. But instead, I'd, I can't cast uh, the Expedition map here, unfortunately, and I just have to pass the turn, hoping my opponent doesn't kill me next turn. Yeah, this, this Chalice in one wasn't amazing. Regretting it a little bit. Although, they only have 5 lands this turn, so unlikely that they kill me. They, they can't kill me, of course. I can go uh, explore, land, land, scape shift. But if they don't do that, next turn I have 2 Smasher again. So that's a good shape. Red, green. Run and ticks. Alright. Not good. 
pass, ok, draw Eldrazi Temple, ok, that's why I'm not sure. Freemand. Blaze Masher. And that will do it. I can't think of a sequence of my opponent that saves them. Alright, after after seeing that Relative Masher maybe wasn't good for the deck, this card just carried the win here. It just killed my opponent so quickly. Okay. Uh this matchup, what do I want? Yeah, Chalice doesn't seem good at all. I mean, they mostly have two drop, but I'm like casting Chalice on two isn't really a thing. The problem though is that my Cyberbird also doesn't have much. I guess I can bring in those. And I can bring in Titan. What do I car in afterwards then? Bah. I don't know. Bring in Torp Torpor? It doesn't do anything. Bring an Emrakul. Sure, let's bring an Emrakul. The problem is end. Raph the Ghost Cage is underappreciated. I think it's properly appreciated. Actually, I think Raph the Ghost Cage is overappreciated. And overly, I think, appreciated. You like Vern Coil. You like Vern Coil. Could be. Maybe it's better than Eugene. Yeah, Eugene doesn't seem great, although I think unfortunately I submitted, so I can change. Not a good end. I will take a mulligan. Yeah, but a four a turn four clock is not a good thing. Cost five mana. I know that you can cast it on turn. Three or four in this deck, but still. Oh, it isn't muy mejor, muy mejor. Uh, do I bottom the waste? My problem is if I go turn one map and they stone rain it, sorry, and they like nitrous claim it or whatever, I don't want to miss a land drop, so I'm just gonna put bottom a car. And my opponent counter of choice is remand, meaning that having two of the same card can be a little bit clunky because they just remand it again, so you don't want to draw a second copy of it. If I, if I uh, read it well, uh, yesterday Dredge uh, made the top, at least the top four of the challenge. I don't know how it finished, but... Um, so the Graph Digger's Cage is maybe for that matchup. Alright, let's begin. Uh, I think I'll go mine. Mind map, this way if I draw a Tron land, I can get Tron turn 3. Okay. What land is this? Four cards. Hmm, Conseer. Alright, not bad. Is Remand the best player available? Um, yeah, you can play Mana Leak. I've seen at least with Mana Leak. You certainly can't play Counter Spell in a deck with a million uh, non islands. Cage is Grey versus Yogmoth. True. True. Or Spiral is an instant, unfortunately, you cannot counter that. Although Warping Will counters the. Um, what's it called? Uh, the the scape shift. That's a very big deal. I crack them up. I'll go get a uh, cavern of sauce, so I can go turn three tom and see are uncountable. Drazi, and I'll play my Thonseer. That they cannot remand. Remand is still good against me because I have Karn, but not on Tunnels here at least. Ooh, Scape Shift 3 land, alright. Go. You love to see those kind of hands when you Tunnels here your opponent. Okay. 
fetch up a land. Sorry, I pick up a land. Next turn I can Karn and Pit Needle Rain. I don't know if that's good though. I should have noted the last card in it. Ooh, smashy, smashy. Yeah, I'm gonna go smashy here. Smashy, smashy. Do I care about Ren or do I just go to town to your face? Tell opponent. Banya Questi. Next turn, you did. All right. After down talking reality smasher, you're carried hard in this match. Unless they draw something powerful now, opponent should be dead. Did you draw something powerful now? You? Oh, they're casting something. What is it? Ice? Ice my thalamus here? Yep, that works. Remember, Warp Wheel only counter sorcery. Oh, you ice my smasher. Sure. Okay, they drew ice, which is, uh, you know, the card that my opponent needs to survive. Now, I think... Do I want to attack them? Or... Because I, I can attack them... Nah, I think I just attack Ren and keep up Warping Whale. Yeah. I don't want them to go a lot of Fire Ice with the Ren Emblem. Because I could also go Pithing Needle, I know. But I'd rather pass and keep up Warping Whale. I could go Karn Pithing Needle and attack them. But, I, you know, anything... If something goes bad, I could lose the game. Whereas now I still have my counter spell up. It's still dead to my two creatures. GG. 3-2, losing a... Getting a sound defeat by Amulet. Losing a close game to the uh, Ammer and then... Um, beating the three other decks i hope you enjoyed the odrazi content because it doesn't it doesn't happen too often so i think yeah eh, honestly no changes you could play karn silex or you could you could dot i mean it's not a, an amazing card so it's fine if you want to try it but this list uh, certainly works yeah that's it